I'm going to be showing you how to export your game as a HTML5 project and make it playable as a web game on itch.io. Start by opening up your project. You'll need to set a main scene. To do this, select project at the top of the screen and then go down to project settings. Select run on the left hand side and then click the folder icon next to the main scene property. Find and select the scene that you want to load when the game is run. This will probably be your main menu, but in my case, it's just going to be my first level. Once you've done that, you're ready to export your project. Once again, select project at the top and head down to export. Click the add button right here and go down to web. If you've never exported anything before, you'll probably see these red error messages. This is because you don't have any export templates installed. To fix this, select the Manage Export Templates text and then select Download and Install. Now you'll need to wait for it to install. Two very boring minutes later. Once it's finished installing, head back to the Export menu and select Export Project. Now find where you want to export the files to and make sure to give the project its own folder. We'll need to give the project a name. To make sure the project is playable when we upload it to itch, we'll need to call it index with a lowercase i. Also make sure to untick the export with debug option. When it's exported, zip the folder that you created and head on over to the itch.io website. If you already have an account, select login and if you don't have one, pause the video and sign up for one now. Once you're logged in, select this little arrow in the top right and go down to upload new project. Start by giving your project a title. Under this, set your project to be a game and set the kind of project to be HTML. Now select the Uploads File button and select the zip file that we created earlier. Once it's uploaded, tick the box that says this file will be played in the browser. You can also define a custom resolution for your game if you want. Now scroll to the bottom of the page, select Draft and click Save and View Page. If you now click Run Game, your project should load. If it doesn't load and you get an error message like this, select Edit Game in the top left. Scroll back down to the Embed options and tick the Shade Array Buffer Support option. Go back to the bottom of the page and click Save. Now if you run your game, it should be fixed. Consider checking out this video next. 